In this video today, I'll quickly show you how to set up your Coinbase Cloud Node to read data from and write transactions to the blockchain using Third Web's brand new Unity SDK. This cloud node will provide you 120,000 daily requests for free, making it the perfect candidate for you to build your Web3 games with. Now, before we dive into the video, if you do get any value out of our content, I would really appreciate it if you could give this video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to be the first to hear all about our awesome content on Web3 and blockchain development. So we can start by setting up a Coinbase cloud account if we don't already have one, or if you do already have one, feel free to sign into your account. And this should be a really quick process. And on the home page, let's click on go to node. Here we want to select Ethereum as the network that we want to run our node on. Once we have selected Ethereum, we'll be setting up our project by filling out the name of the project and selecting the network that we want to run this project on. And we'll be selecting Goerly for uh, this video because we want to just use the test funds. And once we have finished selecting the network and naming our project, we'll create the project and this will prompt open our API access token, which we want to copy and we'll be using that in importing into our endpoint later on. If you're new to Web3 gaming development, or if this is the first time ever for you uh, using Unity, don't fret, we actually have a guide here that walks you through step-by-step -step, um, the installation and configuration process for Unity Toolkit. And we also have a YouTube video that also helps you with getting started with Unity that uses Third Web's Unity SDK. Um, and we'll definitely link the YouTube video here for your convenience. So feel free to take a look at these resources to get an overview of Unity and get yourself familiarized with the uh, Unity Hub and Unity Editor. So once you have the Unity Hub and Unity Editor installed, let's head over to Unity Hub and create a new project. Next up, um, here we want to select 3D and give our project a name. Here I just called it my project. Now that we have created our project, we want to import the third web Unity SDK to add some Web3 functionality to our Web3 game. So let's head over to the release page on uh, third web's GitHub over to the Unity Hub and import the SDK from the Assets tab, just like so. And from here, we can select all of the files that we just downloaded from GitHub, and you can leave everything selected on this menu here and just start importing all of the files. If you want to see the code powering this demo and see what you can do with the SDK, we can open up the third web folder here and double click on third web SDK demos.cs file. And once we have it popped open, we'll see the basic functionalities to initialize the SDK and we can start using the SDK. Now here we want to create a C sharp script within the scripts folder under third web and let's call it setup. And let's click double click on setup file and we'll see that there is already a pre-populated template for us to use here. We want to start with importing the third web SDK by typing in on the very top using third web semicolon. Let's also remove the last bit of the chunk here because we don't really need that part. And then we'll import the third web unity SDK by typing in SDK equals to new third web SDK. And here we want to include a string that consists of four different properties. The first being the HTTPS extension, followed by the username, which is followed by a colon and the password. And 
finishing it with the endpoint of the Coinbase Cloud Node, which we can also get from the Coinbase Cloud Console, but we would have to move the HTTPS extension in front of it if we're getting it from the console. And that's it. So anytime you read data or write transactions to the blockchain using our third web SDK, it will be sent through this node. So go ahead and build and run your Web3 project to see how the Web3 functionality is incorporated into your Web3 game. Again, if you liked today's video, I would really love to see it if you can give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our third web channel. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below or join our Discord community by clicking on the link in the description below to speak directly with our third web team. I will see you in the next video.